hey guys welcome back to my vlog if you're new here remember to hit the subscription button if you've been with me thank you so much today i'll be talking about different street food in montego bay like i said i'll be doing a vlog on different places in montego bay and I'm just highlighting some up and coming new spots as well as different street areas that you can go and get some nice food very affordable and all of that all right so first and foremost i'm gonna stick to my roots and start all at right guys my so First step, my feet respect my roots. I'm at Harbor Street Craft Market. Right? Right, that's where my barn and grow up. Right? So, this is bag and cup. Oh, it's an animal. Oh, okay. Right? I'm gonna get some cornbread and salt fish. Mm -hmm. See the salt fish here? We have a big chunk of salt fish and yes. onion. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ah. <laughs> Emma, Emma, I can't have salt fish though. Alright, I can't get some I can't put it with the big salvage, but I'm really, mm. not really eat Aki, I know, very on Jamaican Aki, but I'm really eat Aki. Alright, so I'm going to get the sky juice and I'm going to a big cup. Alright, that's alright, I'm going close to the highway. Alright, I'm going to go to just come on Arbor Street Craft Market and ask for a bag and cup. So, I call it Thai bag or even sky juice. I don't know, some people call it shave ice. Yeah, Alright. They call it sky juice. Yeah, so I don't know when last to drink a little sky juice or even a shave ice, whatever you want to call it. But this is for 150 right? And the cornbread and sawfish that I'm getting is for 300 So all in all, that's a 450 So, you know, if you try to save it up on a local budget, you want something nice, you know, then right, let me say, right down a craft market harbor street craft market ask for bag and cup that's his name yeah so i don't know about you guys but i love i love onions you see this let me show you right here cornbread and saltfish with onions all right oh with my sky juice there we go there we go is all you need right now craft market at my place ever since a child i've been running around this place look at it and i ate this nice soft cornbread a thick slice of salt fish not a little fine cut up cut up slice see that thick chunk size i'm showing it i dig up dig up my food for sure no? right you know big chunk of salt fish like this um at least four or five pieces and onion on top of onion oh i love onions beer onion beer onion beer onion right <sighs> love right love and the cornbread soft mm -hmm. mm. fresh mm. No, I don't know if this is a mobile thing. I don't know. Cornbread and sawfish. I don't know if that's a mobile thing. But I love it. I love it. I love it. That's the only thing make cornbread with a sawfish. And if if the food them not serve in a little white bag here, right? Them not shot. If I go on a little street side, go buy a little food that in a, in a little white plastic bag here, you not say nothing. Cause when I go down and I spam and get my pudding and the white plastic bag it in the same way. So you have to check out for that. Remember, Harbor Street Craft Market, right? Closer to which side is just come in and ask for bag and cup. No need to do nothing more. Harbor Street Craft Market bag and cup. I'm there close to the entrance with up on the highway. Yeah. Alright, so they don't want to move here on church lane. But since I was a little child, my grandma used to always send me on this and a slice of pudding with a potato of cornmeal or whatever. And she have everything fried dumpling, callaloo, fish, chop up, which is, you know, well seasoned chicken broth, curry or brown stew, all right here. So this is very affordable, very, very affordable. I know we're there in your empty. First, we'll come in here in your empty. I'll we'll come here and I'll take 10 times away. So the price is different. No,
guys so this is the menu that's the prices for the drinks i'm here for the cornmeal pudding it's 170 she has potato pudding as well the chop up which is that uh, is for 250 she has fritters for 80 dollars saltfish for 200 baked mac and cheese 250 color loo with saltfish you know the video of the little glare but this is how it looks and like i said what i'm here for the cornmeal pudding listen hands down the best pudding ever not even prior in i've not found this right I ain't gonna lie, fritters amazing. Fried dumpling, you can get it any time of the day. Thirty dollar for one. This is the chop up. I mean, not too good for chicken back. A brown stew chicken back that. Like I said, the fried dumpling with a morning, noon, or night. She have fried dumpling and a thirty dollar for one, and you can easily go around there and get a fried dumpling. And the fritters is there for eighty dollars. I'm telling you, if the food not serving, I look a white bag like this. It nah shot. That me I tell you. Next spot I'll be talking about is this new Mexican spot right here in Montego Bay. All right, this is me in the sombrero acting a whole fool, but here's the direction. Let's go. All right, guys. So street vlogger, street food, and I'm gonna show you guys a wide variety. We are on our way to this Mexican spot, and yes, they're true Mexicans. You know Jamaica out of many one people. I'm just showing you guys the way. Right, so it's Bog Village. Um, yeah, it's Bog Village, but it's on the right, right here. So if nobody gets lost, but at the same time, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. All right, guys. Okay. You take that right. You make the first left afterwards. You go up this little steep hill. Parking is a bit iffy, and it's in somebody's Here backyard. I feel like I can't get parked, but try park. And it's in somebody's <laughs> house. But we know a while that up and coming, we we'll support the thing out of many one people. You know the shrimps. Yeah. Around there, and they have the hand sanitization station. And there's a waitress that actually comes and greets you. And you, you know, you're seated. It's like a nice little backyard picnic vibe that they have going on. And afterwards they tell you the menu they're let me they're gonna tell you the menu right now it's like a pulled pork it's so it's softly cooked pork uh we have adobada which is like marinated pork mm -hmm. we have chicharron which is like the, the pork belly it's the crispy pork uh we also have chicken beef and for vegetarian we always have a different taco with me so you have to ask us what type of taco we have today we have mushroom sometimes we do sorrel sometimes we do tuna tacos Okay, and the different sauce that you guys have? We have all sorts of salsas. Red sauce, green sauce, avocado sauce, salsa, oh. um, fruits and vinegar. Alright, turn around and let me see the IG. The IG, oh, you hear it long. Yeah. So that was the menu. Um, This is how the outside setup is. You know, like I said, you have to wait to be seated. And, you know, it's a nice little vibe, right? This is the station. They had pork, chicken, um... I, I, to me everything was just pork and chicken but you know she said what was on the menu but men don't really understand the mexican thing and these are the different toppings majority of pepper you know it's just mild from mild to very hot pepper <laughs> but the sauces were very good and they had salsa so i went with the salsa more than anything else and then they had this station again with the lettuce and the cucumber and the diced tomatoes Again, which I think is another salsa. Guys, there two no not both taco like that. So I mean I know the correct term, but this is what I went with. Oh, and the red stuff, it's beetroot. They had that as well, and it was very sweet. They had beans. Definitely went all out with the beans. But you know what? They didn't have they didn't have any cheese. And it was afterwards I realized that they didn't have any cheese. And I don't know if maybe that's truly how the Mexicans do it. I don't know. And I got a salt beer just to, you know, keep it the vibe out on the salon corona then did I have around there as well and you know everybody first bite just getting everybody's reaction you know the sister was just like all right it's nice and my now I'm, I, I ate one of mine already and the pepper did reach me so that's why i see me i wipe off my face because i literally just went in with a good amount of the sauces and the pepper did reach me but it was very good it was very good i really like the pork um like i said they had salt beers and corona that was the only two beers that they had there um and i'm not really a beer drinker so i wasn't a fan of the salt beer but yeah and what i realized was that the green sauce thing right it pepper yeah it pepper but one more look at their logo guys you can follow them on instagram 
Mexican taqueria. I still think my pronouns All right, are wrong. Alright, guys. So, next spot on the street vlog or street food vlog is this jerk. I don't know, them kind of move. They weren't here before, but this is where they are now. Right? And today is a Sunday, but they are definitely out here. Um, this is Fort Street. Again, I'm close to another craft market, so it's right beside the old Fort Craft Market across the road from Harmony Beach Park. Look at it, guys. Look at it. Wow, right? So, as I mentioned, jerk chicken right at Fort Montego. This is Ashanti Jerk. He's just one of many different jerk guys that are normally there. And they're here every day. And when I say every day, they're even here on the no movement days, right? And they're sometimes there after hours as well. But they usually come out around 2 p.m. or even 3 p.m. So this was a Sunday when I went. About from both of them that were there, about half chicken. And both of them sell it for the same price. It's $800 for half chicken. Yes, the cost of living has gone up. You know, Corona wreck everything raised. Like I said, right across from Harmony Beach Park. All right, this lady has three different sauce. Four, sorry. Two mild, one jerk, and... Um, the ketchup of course and i took my thing i went i had it in the car and it was very succulent very juicy well seasoned so if it is that you're in montego bay or you went to harmony beach park and you want some jerk chicken then check them out guys they're right there always remember support your own all right guys now next stop on the vlog all right guys so the street food vlog continue i'm now heading down in montego bay i'm gonna stop right by sunshine plaza i'm gonna get a cup of soup i'm very hungry it's gonna be the appetizer right and right there um right on the corner of sunshine plaza where that soup guy is and over the years there have been different number of soup guys have been soupy john I had a cousin what was there once and now there's a different guy that's there now Alright, so this is a soup stop. So like I said, I'm down by Sunshine Plaza right at the corner right there. This man has three different soups. I always have three different soups each day. So he had turkey neck and chicken foot soup. He had cow skin and chicken foot soup. And he also had conch soup. I went ahead and I got the turkey neck with the chicken foot. I got a small one. And the small was for $2.50. Right? So this is right adjacent to the Montego Bay Civic Center. And... Like I said, right at the corner of Sunshine Plaza. Now, next stop, down a parade, right? Right in a Sam Sharp Square, right? They say you have the bad dog people, them station. There's at least three or four or even five different bad dogs area. This guy, his name was Sharp Boss. And he moves very fast, right? So I got a bad dog and he also does burgers. But he wasn't doing burger that particular day. As you can see, like the, the sausage already cut in half. I went ahead, I got some relish, and I had him put all the different sauces on it as well. Um, so, it's three fifty for the bad dog, right? And uh, the burger goes for, I think, 500 Don't quote me on that, though. I can't fully remember. My bad, guys. But, like I say, if you want a little bad dog, you know, you just hit him up right down in parade right there so you can't miss him. And he does a thing where... When he put all of the toppings on it, he flips it, which I thought was so cool. Because the way they, you know, mess up the clothes when you eat the food and them things there. So, yeah. Big up yourself, short boss. Alright. I know no problem. I wonder why I'm always in my car. But, to be honest, I just always come by the for food. And come in my car, eat it. And then I'm, I go where I'm going. I'm always on the go. Anyways, this is a soup. Hot. Nice. You know, it's not really thick. It's more like a broth. They never have no corn today, unfortunately. But the corn is really good. So right there is at Sunshine Plaza. You guys can check it out. So this have this is a mixture. So it have um chicken foot. I love me some chicken foot. As well as right, it have chicken foot. And it have turkey neck, right? So it's a combination. It's a, it's a soup you're full of a beer meat. You get me? So, people, buy the bad dog. I'm mean, gonna introduce it and everything. 
So I said something in that video and I never did a video. And this alone left, but it tastes really good. 350. Um oh god, me can't believe. I have the relish and the cheese and everything. It's so it's such an unfortunate thing. But this is what happened when you do the vlog in them. You know? Sometimes I think I record and I record. I got this from Shark Boss. I'm a bit very shy. But it good. It good. Can't believe it never did a record. And it pretty much finished, you know, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm. Next on the list, guys, is a vegan's utopia. Check out these loaded fries. Yes, this is all vegan, and they not only have loaded fries, they have pizza, you can get small or large, they have burger, they have quinoa, and that's mushroom right there. It looks like chicken, they have mac and cheese balls, they also have again tofu with plantains, mashed potato, lasagna. That's a plant in lasagna right there, and patties spring rolls they have a wide variety guys so stay with me as i introduce to you guys andre who's gonna make the loaded fries in a quick jiffy for me all right guys so andre is gonna be making loaded fries for me right all, this, all the spices right there they, they are online on ig so i'm gonna leave the link with the menu and the different costs for the different food in the description below so be sure to click that and check them out this is the cauliflower yes guys this is cauliflower and he dips it in a gluten-free flour lol you saw what i did right there flour flour anyways that's the fries right there in the oil so like i said guys a vegan's utopia their delivery is mostly within montego bay right so if you're up in um Rosevale or even Ryan Park, Spot Valley, Barrett Town. That's really where they're based. But they deliver all the way down to airport side. And even if there's anywhere outside of that, if you want to, you know, hit them up, order, call them, and they'll deliver. So this is the cauliflower, and that's the cashew cheese. I love the cashew cheese. They also sell the cashew cheese separately. So if you guys are looking for a nice dip for some taco chips, then definitely. So this is the cauliflower you see how that look like nuggets guys and then these are the fries and then after we took out all of the fries he seasoned it to perfection yeah and he used pink salt so he says this has more nutrients or more minerals than regular salt that's actually the first time i've ever seen pink salt right and now it's time for the packaging right so got the fries again i said season and that's cauliflower guys yes that is not chicken that is cauliflower and then to top it all off we have our cashew cheese and yes the cheese is made from cashew right and then just you know sprinkle a little garnish in and this is my reaction to my first bite uh -huh. <laughs> Let me roll up my sleeves sure <laughs> okay. uh -huh. wow Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is seasoned. Yeah. To perfection, guys. Wow. This is good. This is coming good. You guys have to you guys have to order this. Honestly. So I look for something different, like the cashew cheese. Now them cashew cheese that I've met for a long time, but this now. The combination, I can't believe this yeah. is this is cauliflower. Oh my god. Wow, brilliant! Wow, all right, so this is man and man alone. <laughs> There's no sharing, <laughs> <laughs> Andre. Well done, yeah, man. Thank you. Wow, well, guys, that's it. Check them out on Instagram at Vegans Utopia. Like I said, the link is gonna be in the description below. I'm gonna leave the link for their IG page. And if you're in the mobile area and you want something different, then I definitely suggest you guys try the loaded fries, right? Try the pizza, the burger, anything at all that they have, you can try it. Remember, they do delivery, all right? And anything with the cashew cheese is good. Anything at all with the cashew cheese is good, all right? All right, getting it now. Okay. All right, guys, another spot worth mentioning is this spot right here, Miss Polly Restaurant, where they write on Mount Salem Cool Oasis gas station local traditions right now anytime i'm leaving work i come here and i get yeah you see the good thing with this restaurant is that you have a wide variety in terms of jamaican cuisine 
I can always count on coming here and getting turkey neck. I love turkey neck. They will have pig tail. They will have cow foot or cow skin. You know, along with fried chicken, baked chicken, and jerk chicken. But the fact that they always have that on the menu means so much to me. Now, when you go there, without a doubt, there's going to be a wait. Right? They will always... And if nobody not did it, there is going to be a wait. But the amount of food where you get, because these are the small... And a, a five, a five turkey neck me get tonight. Um, and this was curry turkey neck. Um, the small is four fifty, medium six fifty, large eight hundred. Like I said, guys, you know the cost of living. It is what it is. But I did enjoy it, and I always enjoy their food. So, you know, if you're in the Salem area, local tradition right behind Cool Oasis gas station. Another corner shop, Pluck. Now this is adjacent to. Montego Bay's post office number two, which is right at the bottom of Parnit Street, right where clock is. And this is what Jade Restaurant was. I don't know if you guys remember Jade Restaurant. This is the menu right here that was upstairs Western Plaza, right above Butterflakes, adjacent to Bay West. They have moved and they're now called Pluck. So you can get all of the shrimp fry rice, chicken chow mein, sweet and sour chicken, fry rice, all of that. For very cheap they have small for 400 medium for 600 depending on what you're getting and they also have jamaican food but mostly you know chicken and fries and some. so this is it i got the sweet and sour chicken it was really good another spot i'm giving a little shout out to is this right here this italian ice as you can see shave ice a different price three scoops 124 scoop 155 208 scoop is 300 so again i'm back in parade so this guy has him look up. He calls it water ice. You know, everybody have the different name. Shave ice. Him call it water ice. I call it sky juice. So this is just another person that sells shave ice all over again. Him have different, different flavor with different, different coloring and so forth. So I was with a good friend of mine and, you know, we're down there. It was hot as hell. So we went there and we got some and this was her reaction to it. Oh, and my man have him look uh, and sanitizer going. So, you know, you got it before him even when we do anything. Him, go and sanitize yourself. All right, guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment under this video. Also, follow me over on Instagram and TikTok at Amanda's 876 Adventures. Again, also subscribe, right? If you reach this far, just a couple more minutes left. Watch till the end. We have one more spot that I'm going to mention, okay? Alright, I know I've been highlighting street food as well as up and coming restaurants, but after doing the vlog, I found out about this African restaurant that shows genuine African cuisine. Um, again, right in Montego Bay at the Zara Plaza, which is at Providence. I had to come and check it out. And look at the decor inside, it is so cute. I, like, I can't get over it. You know, spacious and everything. Like, when I was told about it, I was expecting all of this. Anyways, this is the menu, right? So, if you pause and look at it, some of the words I can't even read, to be very honest. And this is my lunch date. Um, so, yeah, I got fufu. It was fufu Fridays. I always hear people talk about it, so I wanted to try it. When the food came, they brought us a bucket, which is for us to wash our hands or, you know, dip our hands, you know. Because, you know, we eat it with our hands, right? So, that's how they eat the fufu. And it came in the plastic. So fufu is actually mash yam is what I'm going to just make it out to be. And I got it with igusi or igusai, which was um, blended melon, I think, with um, some meat in it. So the meat was beef, fish, and cow skin. It was different. It was different. Trust me, it was different. It was, that's, that's, that's my take on it. Um, you know, you have to just swallow but, you know, I had to chew at the same time because, like, the beef was in it. So, it was, you know, but, like, you know, it's a no for my taste buds. But if you want to go and check it out and try probably the jello fries or something else. Because I would probably go back and try something else and stay away from the fufu. Guys, that's it. There's a couple more restaurants that I wanted to mention. Like, Mandy Express Electric that has pizza as well as the cook shop place run on Not Lane. But if I do a part 12, do a separate vlog on them. Stay tuned, guys. I have more videos about Montego Bay. Like I said, I'm doing a series. So just subscribe so you don't miss them.